Greetings from O'Hare Airport. This is video blog entry number one. I was supposed to depart from O'Hare at 8.45 p.m., but now I'm departing at 2.30 in the morning. I don't board till 1 a.m. It's about 9 o'clock right now. I just went through security and said bye to my parents. Um, and when we got at the airport, the line for Air India was so long. It was longer than the Conan hallway. And I couldn't believe it. So we got at the end of the line and um, pretty much felt like we were in India. But the girl right in front of me was a Caucasian girl with her two parents. And she told me that she was the one who told me that we weren't departing um, till much later. And I said, I can't leave that late. I have to be there at a certain time. Then she kind of asked why you're going. And we found out she was in the same study abroad program as me. So, um, I couldn't believe it, and she was even going to be in the same apartment flat, so at least we would have been able to get to the apartment together because I would, we would both be missing the people who would come pick us up from the airport. So no problems, we're standing in line, and I was kind of angry at Air India, but there's nothing I could do about it, till I found out that she was flying standby in British Airways, she got the flight, and I realized that I was going to be flying on my own, and I kind of freaked out, cried a little bit, yelled about Air India some more, and then realized this is what I got to do. So she took off, um, and she told me that there's one other kid who's supposedly, supposedly on the flight, and I'm going to look and see if he's here, unless he flew standby somewhere else. And the people in line in front of me, there were two Indian British people, and they're two tube stops away from me, so they said that they're going to help me get on the tube and get to my apartment, and it doesn't seem like it'll be too bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is the beginning. I'm pretty lucky that I only packed one suitcase and my backpack, and, uh, luckily Val came and picked me up right before I left, and she took me to Target and got me some snacks and, uh, no liquids and gels, but I got some carrier fruit snacks and some goldfish crackers and some granola bars, so I'll survive, uh, but uh, who knows what this area India flight's going to be like. But um, it was pretty wild in the food court. So survive the flight. Thanks for watching the video. And hopefully I make it to London before it's time to come back. Thanks. Bye.